Y'all yeah, don't feel me. Uh, yeah. I can show you how to flip goes. Trading since a flip phone. Buy my mama a big home. Buy myself a big rush. Uh. That's just a sneak peek. Hopefully, I don't get copywritten for that. What's popping, you guys? Is it early morning or late at night? You can't tell. Am I in Las Vegas? You can't tell. I want to talk about 2019, your goals and stuff. Actually, it's related to this. You guys wanted a vlog. So this isn't going to be as much about the stock market. I'm going to talk about my story related to Vegas here. What's gotten me here or not here. Uh, who knows where I am yet. We're going to discuss that. We're going to talk about girls, um, money, uh, life decisions. I guess this is just my version of a vlog because it's just like, you know, I guess it's going to be a mix of like story time, but I have to give you guys a good message on it. You know, I'm, I, I gave that message for 2019. I'm really serious about it. I want you guys to be prepared and I'm seeing it even in this story that led me up to this. All of it is just like I, I'm seeing people and I'm interacting people and I'm, you know, you're, you're seeing cracks and you're seeing just bad decisions and bad, many bad things everywhere. As I say that, the 5 the 12 just rolled by. They ain't gonna pull me over. I hope not. See, they don't know Josh answers in here. Stock tips. <laughs> but, yeah, so, you know, take 2019 seriously. Take your future seriously. Honestly, if you're just the type of person already who's like looking at stock trading videos or I don't know how you are on this video for whatever reason I've attracted you or you're even wasting your time watching this, like, you might as well just go fuck around and make your life amazing, you know? And it starts with building discipline in certain things. But I'm gonna tell you some stories. I'm gonna stop cussing too. Sorry too if I've cussed. It's, you know, I'm trying to work on it. And you're like, oh, cuss. You know, I, 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 it's not, this is for me. It's not for you, okay? I, <clears throat> I'm trying to improve in many areas. We'll, we know, we'll discuss this. But let's talk about, uh, oh yeah, I guess the last part too. You know why? I think it was. I don't even say the last part. What am I? It just this just comes to my thought. I'm driving early morning, late night drive, but this is take this seriously. Everything. Tell me if you guys like these videos. If you do, I'll make more of these. We could have some real deep, you know, just dark chats like this while we're driving. I'm at the I'm at the pull up somewhere, but I'll show you. Um, but yeah, you know, I'm just we're gonna discuss some things i'm like your cool dad uh, i'm like your cool rich dad who just you know i'm cool with you smoking weed and shit but like get good grades you know don't do dumb shit don't hang out with too degenerate of people you know just do good that's it you know we'll have some fun i'll pay you if you get a's in class you know we get this shit popping so that being said <laughs> you guys like that that was like a three minute long intro hopefully you're still here but let me tell you the story i'm not in vegas so i didn't go to vegas and that's why i'm making this video that's why i said i'll put it out like this i didn't go to vegas because well this is where the girls come in it was a mix of two things one i was going for vegas because it was with a female and they made it very appealing i even said it on stream they literally they got me a hotel room well, they wanted me to go with them. <laughs> uh, they said they're gonna come even pick me up and drive me and this and now I've talked about this I thought I'd share this with you just because you know I'll finish the story But why I'm sharing this is because I I've talked to some of you guys on Instagram some of the people who send me some shit you guys You know we have really deep intimate relationships. I know it's weird from the faceless guy Yeah, I have some funny relationships you guys send me you know, you guys tell me about girls to all this other stuff, but you know, and some people have told me they've, you know, they asked me about girls, you know, and they've said, Josh, you know, what's up with you and the bitches, man? Or like, do, have you ever had to deal with this? Or like this and that. And I, you know, I think it's something a lot of you guys could easily waste your time on. Um, either, you know, it's something you waste your time on before and after you get your money. You know, some of you guys are chasing the tail and you're not getting paid. When if you probably got paid, you'd probably get a lot more tail. Now, I've made my gold digger prank, and I will tell you, the money's not gonna change anything too. If you're kind of just a weirdo, like I am fucking weird, you know? Like my, you know, it, it varies for me. 
but oh, my mom just texted me. See, I'm going to my mom's house, you know, and that's the thing. I mean, for 2019, you know, the values, you know, I was like, why am I going to go to Vegas when I could just go see my mom? You know, I said it on the stream. I'd rather see my mom. Um, all right, hold on. I got to pull up the gate. I got to talk, talk to people. I ain't got the car. So, you know, hold up. Man, Rancho Santa Fe, bro. We get mama out the hood in the nice place. They don't even think we live here, bro. They like, shit. How'd you fucking ass get up in here? You steal that car? But, I was saying, you know, on the stream, I had an opera. I was like, I'll go see my mom for New Year's. You know, I was, I think I, I went out, I went out one new year's with Ricky at party. You know, I usually go out on New Year's. And I was like, you know, I'm gonna start off 2019 a little differently. I don't want to drink anything, you know, cause usually I'll, I don't drink that much, but if at all, but I'll drink on like certain occasions. But I was like, ah, I'm not down with that this time. You know, I, I just, you know, we're gonna kill it. Well, I'm already, I already started 2019 three months ago. Go, go look at the YouTube. I was telling you guys, I'll show you, I'll show you my eight pack. My eight pack has developed. I'm still a little fat. I still kind of failed, but we'll talk about that. But again, you guys and the girls, don't waste your time on it too much, but everything, honestly, the answer for me is balance, you know? Because at the same time, can you live a life without females? Uh, some of you can. You know, I, I have before, and it's easy, but it, it does become increasingly difficult depending on what you're really into, but it is very easy to avoid. You can do it. I would honestly, we're going to talk about this more in depth, but I'm, you know, I'm an understanding person. I understand two sides of it. It's difficult. We'll just assume that, just like trading and anything. So, at the end of the day, you got to have balance with it all. But for me, you know, my main thing and how I've been prioritizing, though, I'm saying get your guys' balance. But now, what's important for me, I'm prioritizing. You know, I do want to work. Work is usually number one for me, but actually, family. And that's what came here. You know, it's like I'm not going to work. It's like it's the weekend. I don't want to be driving in a car. I don't honestly. And with gir like girls, I don't know if you guys have experience. Like, if you want to go sit down and fake it being interested and nod your head to accomplish whatever it may be that you're trying to accomplish, uh, I don't know. That's just that's a lot of effort, and you could put it towards stuff. So for me, I put it uh, more important, whatever it may be. But I'm not saying go lock yourself in a room because it's the reverse. I told you guys be social. I challenge you go get a girl's number every week. You see what I'm saying? So it's on both ends of the spectrum here. But what I am saying is have the priorities. And even then, if you could have girls in your life and dealing with that as an entrepreneur uh, and being trading, whatever it may be, but that can't be your number one priority. Uh, that's, that's it. Have it, put it on there. So but yeah, that's why I didn't go to Vegas though. It was partly the girl and then even just Vegas in general. It was, it would have, you know, I pushed it back because I wanted to trade and I wanted to, uh, what's it called? You know, and then I had other, I did have other friends who were going to, they wanted to go the day before. And so it, it was weird, but I, then I wanted to trade and I was like, it's going to be difficult. I wouldn't, I, I knew I would have probably only posted like one video. I was like, I have a bunch of calls to make. I have uh, to finalize everything coming into the 29, 2018 ending, but then everything we want to be executing for the first quarter and the things that come into effect with our companies, taxes and money from January 1st. So I got to handle that. So yeah. That's for you guys. What's the next thing we said we we're going to talk about? I said we we're going to talk about girls' money. Now, that's the same thing in Vegas. I was like, I'm going to go to Vegas, and I'm going to spend more money on food, which I already do anyways, and I'm going to spend just money on just stuff that is entertainment. And now, this is the question, and this is why I'm sharing it with you. Like I'm saying, I want to give you guys a good message where, like, you guys have even seen me with options trading. I'm a Jew. You know, Josh, you made 100 day this much. You made this much. Like, dude, I, I honestly, I made a fuck ton of money in, in my life. It doesn't matter. It's not going to change <laughs> well, what I want to, you know. I, I don't like spending money. That's how I, that's literally how I got here. Okay. You, you guys could go through my YouTube videos and you could probably pick out everything in my wardrobe by now. I have owned the same clothes for the longest time. I've gone, I've probably, I purchased definitely more clothes cars than clothes um which is not common for most people you know it's but i don't like to spend my money and even usually i've said in my videos i do food i usually never give a fuck about food and that's something i want to change is that maybe one for my health reasons 
and that's important. You see, again, the priorities, you know, that's what you guys will notice when you prioritize, like me not going to Vegas, it fell in line with my priorities of being able to work and not deal with other, you know, stuff I, I wanna get distracted with and not spend money. And there's a fiscal aspect, but important number one priority, I get to really meet, I get to spend time with my family. So that's what you have to put in, a, you know, on both sides of everything. There's gonna be a monetary and a non-monetary aspect, but yeah, I forgot what I was saying. That, hold on, let me look back at the video. Oh yeah, like I was saying, I remember now, after I, I refreshed my memory. But I, you know, I wanna spend less money on that food stuff because again, I'm telling you guys, 2019, the value of your dollar and the things will change. And that sounds so creepy and conspiracy tinfoil, but I'm thinking more future and I, I love a future value. Really, I ran out of memory right after I, man. But, it, like I was saying, I love the future valuation and what just the opportunities and, you know, potential that brings with it. So, you know, and I'm being smart, you know, you never know what is going to happen. We don't know the scale, whether up or down, but, you know, having money in my account, richest man of Babylon, more money will always attract more opportunity and other money. And I'm not going to be mad saving it. So what? I go a year not spending, you know. I, I'll show you guys. I don't know if you want to see it. I, I think if I posted it, people would just take it as like flexing or something. And like, this is why I want to make the change. Like, I'll spend, I have a credit card. I, on one credit card, I've spent over about $60,000 in one year on restaurants alone. So, you know, that stuff I, you know, I could make some changes. I could allocate that to other places. But I've worked hard. I've made it, you know, to account for this lifestyle. But, at the same time, you know, I want to make certain changes. I want to be smart, especially moving into these next couple, the next 24 months. And that's what I'm encouraging you guys to do. I'm telling you this for that reason. That's what I'm saying. Be smart with your money, how you guys are going to go about your lives. You know, the, the last thing, you know, 2019, I think it's girls, the decisions you make with your money and do you just spend it? And it's, you know, can you spend it? And that's the thing I'm telling you. Can you spend it? Yes. Can all of you afford a $50 weekly? Yes. Should you do it? You know, that's what you guys got to ask yourself. And I think that voice should be in your head. Maybe I should make a little clip like screaming. So you think of me anytime you spend money, we should make a Josh answers card. So I'm in your wallet and you just see my thumb, you know, and just that's your, that's every time you spend money, you're just putting a thumb in a place that would insinuate you're getting cucked. And you don't want to get cucked like that, dude. So save your money. Honestly, all of you. Save it. Be smart. Anything you think you need, you could probably delay it for a year unless it's water <laughs> or food. Uh, honestly, think about that for a second. But last thing, your friends. Who are you guys hanging out with? Uh, that's the last thing. I'll make it quick. I'll, I'll, I'll touch on that. But who are you guys hanging around? You know, I know a lot of you guys like this channel, you like the streams, because you don't have friends who are into this. I'm with you, I have people like that, but I also have a lot of people who are into this or into it in different ways. You guys have to learn to find the balance between both being around the right people, being social and networking for businesses and what it could bring to you, and that's the thing. I don't want you guys to be fucking weirdo stock traders. That never works. Anybody who has this dream where you're just gonna live by yourself trade stocks all day, make more money than a doctor and a lawyer combined, and go to the beach every day, have a little fucking puppy and a, a, you know, an exotic car in your little nice house. You know, there's a very slim odds of that. You know, I could probably picture that where you do all that and you have all that shit, but then it's like, okay, you trade stocks, but then you, you, you have some sort of business or you've invested in into something or you have rental properties, you're doing, you know, hopefully you guys are following along with me, that I don't want you to be loners. Uh, and I, that lifestyle of some people just, you don't want, even then, that's a shitty life. You don't want to be isolated, okay? So, but at the same time, you do not want to be around toxic friends. You don't want to be around people. If they say you can't do it, they say you 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 think too rich or you're, you're crazy, you, you got to have certain friends who will always keep it real with you and will tell you the truth. And that's on you guys. Sometimes your friends are only as good as you are in the sense of maturity. Some of you can't have friends because you're too immature. 
And what I mean by that is that you could have probably, some of you probably have a really good friend who will tell you the truth, but how that person makes you feel or you're insecure towards them or you're just not mature enough to handle it, it makes you behave a certain way. So you, that's, it's hard for me to say your friends aren't this, that, because some of you are fucked up. When I hear some of you talk about technical analysis or your dreams, if I was your friend, I, I'm doing the same industry you're doing. I'm literally, I'm living with exactly what you're trying to accomplish. And I'm even looking at it, and I'm somebody where people doubted me. I, I Believe me, I've been there. I know what it's like. But I'm not, you know, I look at some of you, I'm like, you guys are insane. You know, you guys, those, and those are the same people who will not take constructive criticism. You know, you guys go look at my videos. I've been there at one point. I've been a fucking dickhead. I, I still am a dickhead. You know, we're all getting better. But, you know, and that's what I'm saying. That's why hopefully if you're still sticking around and you're one of those people, great. You know, it's all love. Like, even then, I'm telling you, hopefully you see I'm your friend right now telling you that I, I'll, I'll keep it as real as I could keep it without ever... Unless I intimately know you and intimately in a non-weird sexual way, you creep. Because I know y'all creepy. <laughs> but hopefully you get the point with that. But your friends, if man, if you guys don't have people really though, you got to be able to network. But then at the main thing I'm saying, get on people with the same wavelength as you. I, I heard P. Diddy say that and I liked it. Where, you know, I've, I've had it. You know, where you're talking to somebody. If you're talking to somebody about the stock market, about making money in business. And they're just like, oh, yeah cool and like the response is like generic questions like you know some people know how to keep a conversation going F go start asking them about what they like switch the subject or you know whatever but that's not going to be someone you're going to start a business with that's not someone you're going to be starting with trading stocks with you want someone you're talking about what you're doing the markets you know for me in the markets that's why i love it's like i talk about the markets i'm like yeah fed oil and they're like oh did you see what jerome powell did in this and this and did you see oh well what do you think now about the you see those are the people you want to be or you you come up with idea you know Someone's want you want to make idea. We should go make a Shopify. We should go do this. And like instead of oh that's cool. Oh I've heard of Facebook ads. You know they're coming up with ideas. Like oh where can we get it? Oh I saw this. You know be on people who who can match your energy. But you know some people they're not as crackheady as I am. Or and, you know some people are a lot more chill. But you could tell where their mindsets at. But I don't know. I don't want to rant on these too much. This is my video. This is my story. Again, a little different for you guys, but good morning. I think I'm going to post this for you as the first video in the morning. Got a great video for you coming up next, so if you watch all this way through, you're going to like the next one. But, yeah, I love you all. Stay in school. Like the video. Give me a comment. Give me your feedback. I want to know. Let's get intimate. Tell me your stories. Let's go. How many of, how, was this relatable? Was this a good video? Give me your feedback. Okay? I love you all. Bye.